In this tutorial, we'll look at how to configure SellerCloud for creating FBA inbound shipments. The configuration involves setting up warehouses, readying products for FBA, and configuring your Amazon account for FBA through MWS. Let's look at the necessary warehouse configurations. SellerCloud tracks inventory through warehouses, so you'll need to set up two warehouses to track FBA inbound shipments. One to track the inventory at the Amazon Fulfillment Center, and another warehouse for inventory while in transit to FBA. The process will then work as follows. When the items are added to a shipment, their quantity becomes reserved in the regular warehouse. After the shipment gets marked as shipped, the inventory moves into the in-transit warehouse. As it gets received by FBA, it automatically moves from the in-transit warehouse to the FBA warehouse. Here's how to set up the warehouse. On the settings menu, click on Warehouse. On the following page, press Add Warehouse above the grid. Give a name to your warehouse, like FBA Warehouse. Select FBA as the warehouse type and save. Add another warehouse and give it a name, like in transit to FBA, and select interim as the warehouse type. Make sure the interim warehouse is not sellable by unchecking the sellable warehouse checkbox. This will ensure that the quantities you are sending to FBA will not be included in the inventory feeds and will not be available for sale while they're in the in transit warehouse. By default, you will be able to add an item to your shipment even if it has no inventory in your catalog. This would sometimes be done when you expect a purchase order to arrive shortly and would like to set up the FBA shipment even before it arrives. But if you want to restrict this, enable the client setting Enable Validate Inventory for FBA Inbound Shipments. When enabled, the shipment will not preview if the product has less inventory than the quantity you are adding to the shipment. If you decide to require inventory validation, you would need to allow inventory for that product to be available from specific warehouses. For example, if SKU123 has a quantity of 100 stored in warehouse A and 50 stored in warehouse B, you can control from which warehouse inventory can be sent to FBA. If we enable the Allow to Use Quantity for FBA Shipment setting on Warehouse A only, only 100 will be available to be put into the FBA inbound shipment because Warehouse B is not allowed for FBA. Additionally, the warehouse from which you are shipping the inventory to FBA should have its address filled in correctly because the ship from address on the FBA inbound shipment gets pulled from the warehouse address, not from the company address. The final warehouse configuration needed is the channel warehouse configuration. Open the company settings toolbox and scroll down to channel warehouse. On this page, locate the FBA channel row, then select the FBA warehouse. By matching the FBA warehouse to the channel, FBA inventory reports will now update the inventory of the correct warehouse. Now let's look at how to ready products for shipping to FBA. Just like creating a shipping plan on FBA, the items added to the FBA inbound shipment need to be in your catalog as a fulfilled by Amazon product. On the Amazon properties page, check here if the product is set as Amazon fulfilled. If it's set as merchant fulfilled, open the action menu and select change fulfilled by. If the product has already been posted to Amazon, press Change and Update Amazon. If the product has not been posted to Amazon, press Change and Do Not Update Amazon. Then, launch the product to Amazon as an Amazon Fulfilled product. In either case, it can take up to 15 minutes before Amazon processes your product and puts it into FBA inventory. By default, New items that are created in SellerCloud will be created with a Merchant Fulfilled status. However, this can be controlled using the following Amazon setting. Open the toolbox and hover over Amazon Settings. From the submenu, select Product Defaults. 
On the Fulfilled By dropdown, select the default Fulfilled By status. The Fulfilled By status is also displayed on the Manage Inventory grid. You can use the Fulfilled By filter in the Advanced Search tab to return Merchant Fulfilled or Amazon Fulfilled products. To update multiple products as fulfilled by Amazon, select the products on the Manage Inventory page, then open the Action menu and click Switch to AFN and click Go. This action will change the product in Seller Cloud and also update Amazon, so it should only be done for products already posted to Amazon. To update the Fulfilled By status in Seller Cloud with a bulk update file, use the column header Fulfilled By and enter the values Amazon or Merchant. A bulk update file will only update the status in Seller Cloud. The product status will not change on Seller Central through the bulk update. After the products are in the FBA inventory, you will be able to retrieve the FN SKU, which is required for creating FBA inbound shipments. The FN SKU, or FBA SKU, is an Amazon product identifier that Amazon uses for FBA inventory. Open the Action menu on the Amazon Properties page and select the action Get FN SKU. You can also retrieve the FN SKUs in bulk by selecting the products on the Manage Inventory page and selecting Get FN SKU from the Action menu. Let's look at the Amazon Label Service. Items shipped to FBA must have unit labels affixed to each item, unless they are eligible for commingling. You can sticker on the labels yourself, or you can request to use the Amazon Label Service to have Amazon apply the labels on your behalf. To enable label services, you must first go to your Seller Central account. Open the Settings dropdown and scroll down to Fulfillment by Amazon. Press the Edit button on the Optional Services section and enable the MWS service. Select the default labeling preference. This will determine the labeling preference of who will label the items in the shipment. The first option is that Amazon should label the items and reject items that cannot be labeled. Be aware that Amazon charges a fee per item for labeling. The second option is that FBA should label my items. However, I will label my items as necessary. This means that Amazon will label any items that you have not labeled. The third option is, I will label my items. This means that you will label your items and Amazon should reject any items that are not labeled. These three options only apply to items that require labeling. This sets the default labeling option, but it can be overridden on each shipment individually. For more information on readying Seller Cloud for FBA or creating an actual FBA inbound shipment, please visit wiki.sellercloud.com.